Hello everyone, Brad Johnson here, and in this video I'm going to be bringing in Adronis as he's going to be talking about the isness understandings. Now is forever and all is one. So I'm going to go ahead now and bring Adronis through and we'll get started. <coughs> And we bid you greetings, and thank you very much for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronis of Sirius, sending love, appreciation, and gratitude to all who are tuning into this particular broadcast, being brought forward through your internet collective consciousness. We will speak in regards to this matter, representing the idea of the isness understandings. Now is forever, and all is one. What has been termed very often throughout your society is the idea of indeed a truthfulness that represents the idea of the law of one. And in that sense, this is truly appreciated in that sense, as it does represent the idea of a particular absolute slash relative law. But the whole idea here is that many of you who look at a law may often feel that it can be bent or it can even be broken. And in regards to this aspect pertaining to the law of one, we would look more so into the idea of understanding that is truly the nature of one. And so this would be the idea of what you would know as the understanding of one. The whole idea also is that there is another particular understanding that works within the idea of one, which is the understanding of now. So rather than the law of now and the law of one, you have the understanding that now is forever the understanding that all is one. These are is-ness understandings. Now why is the particular form of understanding such as the now is forever and the all is one particular in this way of importance? Simply because you will always have now. Now will be eternal. It is forever. Everything that you understand as forever will always be now. It will not be yesterday. It will not be tomorrow. Those are simply elements in regards to illusionary material existing within space-time and time-space through the idea of matter, through the idea of dimensionality, through the idea of density, through the idea of expression and experience, through all the nature in regards to what is known as the law of dynamic. The law of dynamic simply represents that all particular forms that we can understand in regards to existing within experience, expression, degrees of dimensionality, realms of consciousness, all exist in regards to this dynamic creation. So you can understand that the law of dynamic would represent the law of creation that everything in regards to creation itself functions together through expression and experience. And again, that is fueled through the aspect of dynamic. Now, dynamic is a, shall we say, subheading pertaining to the idea of now is forever and all is one. It is required that through all is one and one is all, it is required that through now is forever and forever is now, that dynamic be created as a result. The whole idea really is that there is existence, as you would understand it, beyond dynamic. That there truly is simply stillness. That there is simply, shall we say, existence. Beyond the idea of anything that you would understand as experience, expression, emotion, feeling, degrees of consciousness that represent dimensions, density, space, time, matter, energy, etc. All of these particular forms of realms, be them stillness, be them dynamic, all exist through the fundamental of the gateway of the isness understandings. Now is forever, all is one. Look into the idea about how now is forever and forever is now works together with you in this very moment, for that is what it is all about. It may be in the understanding that, well, Jonas, we've heard these particular principles. They are, shall we say, child's play in regards to the kindergarten class representing spirituality, consciousness, metaphysics, and truth. Yes, they simply can be simplistic, yet they can also be complex. 
It all depends in regards to your point of view. That when you look at truly, are you here now, and can this be forever? Because that is the understanding of the isness. Now is forever. Forever is now. All is one. One is all. So look into those particular words and see how they truly bring you into a greater depth perspective about how reality operates. That everything that represents the functionality of your reality in this moment is based upon those two isness understandings. Not the idea of loss. These particular isness understandings are unbreakable. They can only be broken in the way of illusion. So the idea that you may feel that you have a yesterday and a tomorrow. The idea that you are separate within the body and not interconnected with anything else is all part of the illusion. And that is basically a permittable function in regards to these isness understandings. That it is permissible for you to be able to experience yourself as a separate being. That it is permissible for you to perceive the idea of time and space through the idea of a yesterday, a tomorrow, a last month, a next month, a last year, a next year, etc. All of these simply represent variables that are helping you to understand that in order for you to truly grasp the nature of the isness understandings, you must first experience what they are not. And this is the grandest teaching. This is what the isness understanding of now is forever and all is one represents, is that they are basically showing you everything that is contradictory to their true nature, because that is permissible. This is how all, shall we say, understandings come together. You can refer to them as life lessons, if you will. But again, when we look at the idea of lessons, we're simply looking more so into the idea about self-correction. And the whole idea is that this is more so about understanding, about acknowledging and understanding that the facet of reality is these broken forms of fractions, these broken forms of fragments and shards that represent the idea of truthism in that way. When you look at the idea of truthism or truthiness, whichever you wish to refer to it as, you understand that my goodness, everything truly is connected. My goodness, the only thing I will ever experience in this reality is here and now. Correct. That's all that you will ever experience. You can continue to play the game of yesterday and tomorrow. You can continue to play the game of separation. But there will always be the opportunity in every single moment, here and now, that that particular perception can change. That you are able to simply look upon the grass that you sit upon, go deeply into the grass, and are actually able to feel the movement of the atoms. Actually being able to connect with each blade of grass and seeing how it interconnects with the soil and see how it interrelates to its environment around it. To feel its connection to everything around you. That it is part of you, that it is part of the entire landscape, that it is part of the sky, that it is part of the earth, that it is part of the universe itself. Everything is interconnected in that way once you are willing to look into the depth. And that's the key, because we can always say to you, oh, by the way, all is one, and now is forever. Yeah, that was great. Thanks. I'm off to work. Again, all right. But the whole idea really is that once you truly grasp the concept of this simplistic complexity, and you move into the depths and see exactly how you are interconnected, and that here and now you will always be, <clears throat> there is no distinguishment. There is no idea in regards to feeling that you will be separate from something else. When you truly are here, you always will be. That you are functioning in this vessel as part of an understanding, as attempting to grasp the concept of how you truly are connected. The greatest form of teaching is that which you are opposite of in regards to illusion, to then awaken into the idea of truth which represents interconnectedness, which represents oneness, which represents now is forever. So we would like you to ponder these particular isness understandings as a form of mantra. I understand now is forever, forever is now. I understand all is one, 
one is all. And continue to look into these particular mantras and let your artistic expression, your creative expression, bring you into a greater depth perception about how reality is canvassed into the idea of these two isness understandings. Now is forever, all is one. We thank you very much for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronis of Sirius, sending love, appreciation, and gratitude to all who have tuned into this particular broadcast through your internet collective consciousness. We will speak to you again, for now is forever, and all is one. Goodbye. <sighs> right, thank you very much. So for more information on Adronis, or to book a session, or anything else that you would like to know, uh, regarding to this video, please feel free to contact me, info at consciousmatrix.com, or feel free to check out the website, www.consciousmatrix.com. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Take care. Namaste.